foodie squad as you can see i'm back again with another food review but look if you're new to the channel before i get started go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn your notification bell on that way you'll be notified each and every time that i upload a video now let's go ahead and get into this that I cannot wait to get into. Today, April 1st, is National Burrito Day. <laughs> yeah, so in honor of that, of course I got a burrito. So today, I ordered from a Mexican restaurant here called Frida's. I ordered through DoorDash, so shout out to DoorDash. I ordered a burrito teano. I, I think that's how you pronounce it, but anyway. It's a 12-inch flour tortilla stuffed with grilled chicken, beef, shrimp, onions, peppers, and tomatoes. It's topped with a cheese dip. And then I have the lettuce, guacamole, tomato, and sour cream on the side that's supposed to go over it. Now, of course, nothing is complete without some chips and salsa. Now, before I tell you this, y'all know who I got to talk to. Jesus, Father God, I come to you just to say thank you. Thank you for giving me one more day to eat good again, Lord. Oh, today is National Burrito Day, so you know I'm excited because this here is one bad mamma jamma. It looked good. And I know, Lord, I know you done made it delicious. The only thing I'm asking is to make it nutritious. I ask you for all these things in your son's name. Jesus, amen. Amen. Let's get into it. Today is National Burrito Day, and I'll get into that a little bit later. First, I want to get into this burrito. You cannot go wrong with chips and salsa. You just can't. Mmm. When you get it from an authentic Mexican restaurant, oh my God. The thing I like about that the most is you'll never know when it's going to be extra spicy, mild, whatever. Like one day I may go into Frida's and the sauce is mild. I can go the very next day and it's spicy. I said, okay. Mm, okay. You just got to go with the flow because it's going to be good regardless. Mm, mm, mm. Now I forgot to get a fork and knife, but I'm, I'm just using this. This looks too good. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. This oh, this looks so good. This first bite looks like it got peppers and cheese. Here, I, look. Reach on over here and get this bite right here. Go ahead. I'm going to let you have it. It looks good. Right? Okay. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Mm. Lord, this is delicious. Mm. Oh my God, this is so good. With the strip of steak, the chicken, the shrimp, the peppers and onions. This is like a hug from baby Jesus. I'm going to tell you right now. This is a hug from baby Jesus. Lord, why is you tasting this good? This is delicious. But I think I'm supposed to put some of this sour cream and stuff on here. But when I tell you this thing is seasoned, burrito, te ano. <laughs> of course, y'all know today, April Fool's Day. This is so good. This ain't no April Fool joke here. This right here is delicious. I ain't going to even hold you. This is delicious here. Mm, 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 mm. Lord, what did I do right? I did something right in my life. This is good. And then with the cheese. And I love cheese. Mmm. This is so good. If y'all got a Fritos in y'all area, get there. Get the burrito 
Tiano. Tell them food is sent me. <laughs> All right, child. Tell them I sent you. I don't think it's going to help, but you can give them a discount, but still. Let them know. Mmm. Mmm. That don't make no sense being that good. Let me take some of this guac. You better come through, guac. Oh, this is delicious. You know how you want to eat something. You want to eat all of it, but you know you ain't got enough room? That's where I'm at with this. And I know I'm going to have to guard my burrito El Tonio because I know Aaron is going to be sniffing around. I should have bought him one. Keep mine safe. That's how you got to do around here. One minute. Your burrito just sitting there on the camera. Next minute, it's in his belly. It's just gone. Life come at you fast. This is so good. Like, it is so flavorful. It is well seasoned. And I mean, oh my gosh. I might end up on a taco Tuesday eating another burrito El Tano. Now, the L ain't in there. I don't know why I keep saying El Tano. And I don't think it's El Tano. I think it's Tejano. Burrito Tejano. But I want to say El. I don't, El Hano. I don't know why. I, I, I don't. Don't. Don't ask. I don't know. Mm. Mm, chips and salsa. Chips and salsa. Oh. oh, oh. Pingo here. Mm. Chips and stone stuff. I love it. Oh, excuse, excuse me. That won't sex at all. Oh, okay. Look, it's better in and out. I know some of y'all don't like to hear people burp, but I love y'all to death. But there's no way I'm going to hold in my gas and it end up with gas pains all in my chest. Make me feel like I'm having a heart attack. Uh-uh. No. Mm. I hear that crunch. Little ASMR for you. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Well, look, real quick before I tell y'all about National Burrito Day. Go ahead and get into these shout-outs. VIP Foodie Squad. The Miss Yo-Yo Show. As told by Tina. VA Mukbang Queens, Real Girl Food World, The Triplet Family, Nikki Antoinette, Tony Hendricks Green, Positive Motivations with Bree, Angel Light Over Darkness 33, Divine Wisdom, Platinum Foodie Squad, The Billionaire Mindset, April W.Y.D. Terrence T. Easy. Yes, it's Simone. Holla at Yemi. Just Vlogging Life. V. Vegan Kitty. The Masked Vegan. Beauty and Beast Journey. This is our life. Well, this concludes our Foodie Squad members shout out. A link to their channels will be in the description below. Click on those links, subscribe to those channels, watch and like those short videos, and leave a comment. Also in the comments, don't forget to put Foodie Sent Me. That's right, if you put Foodie Sent Me in the comments, they will return the love because guess what? That's what Foodie Squad does. And if you want to be a member of the Foodie Squad, go ahead and hit that join button. All of our perk levels will pop up. All you have to do is pick which perk level you want to come in on. And I promise to do my best to help you grow and glow in these YouTube streets. Okay, guys. Like I said earlier, today is National Burrito Day. National Burrito Day is always the first Thursday in April that celebrates this tasty and versatile Mexican dish wrapped up in a tortilla. For anybody who didn't know, a burrito is a heavy tortilla wrapped around meat, cheese, tomato, rice, beans, vegetables, and sauces. 
So like many other Mexican dishes, the burrito is really flexible. You can put any type of meat you want in there, any type of veggies, um, any type of sauces, and it's always going to be yummy. It's delicious. Yeah. Just to give you a little history, the word burrito first appeared in the Dictionary of Mexicanisms in 1865. However, the burrito was not introduced to the United States until the 1930s at a restaurant called the El Hoyo Spanish Cafe in Los Angeles, California. I probably said that all wrong, but y'all know what I mean. Look it up. So look, head on over to your favorite Mexican restaurant. Get you a burrito. You will not be sorry. National Burrito Day. <laughs> I love it. I tell you, it don't make no sense how good this thing is here. Everything is going together. The steak, the chicken, the shrimp, the onions and peppers. I, did I tell y'all how delicious this was? Mm. Oh, my God. Mm. This is so good. Whoever decided we was going to have a National Burrito Day, bless you. Mm. And then it has some good guac and salsa. Mm, mm, mm. It's here. Guacamole. I should put some tahini on my guac. Because I eat avocados with tahini on it, and that's it. And it's delicious. Shout out to Nikki Antoinette. I got that from her. This is so tasty. Who don't like burritos? Who wouldn't like a burrito? I really can't see somebody saying, I don't like burritos. Huh? What's wrong with you? What happened in your life? Why you don't like burritos? Everybody likes burritos. That would be the shock of my life. Somebody said they didn't like a burrito. I wouldn't understand. They even had a seafood one on the menu now. I've had like a chimichanga before, which is kind of like a fried burrito um, with crab meat and shrimp in it, and that's good. Mm -hmm. I know some people don't like sauce. I don't know why or how, but hey, because I know sauce is nutritious. I just, I know it is. It's all fresh ingredients. Woo! Getting full. Gonna show off this little corner right here and save the rest of my burrito for later. Mmm. That is so good. Mmm. This is so tasty. I mean, literally, it is delicious. I don't know if every Mexican restaurant is gonna call it burrito tejano. It is a burrito that has grilled steak, chicken, and shrimp. With peppers and onions, it's delicious. Everything's grilled. And then they smother the burrito in this cheese sauce on top. Y'all got to try it. Whoever decided to put burrito tepano on the menu, you got your spot. I just want to know. Well, look, guys. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Like this video. Share this video. Let anyone and everyone know what the Foodie Squad does. When we do food reviews, today I ordered via DoorDash from Frida's and I had the best burrito ever, the burrito tejano. I know I didn't say that right, but anywho, thank you so, so much for tuning in and hanging out with me once again. I love you. I appreciate you and I can't wait to see you at the next food review. Bye.